All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about our beekeeping journey. This is our first time having bees, and we needed to set up electric fencing because we have bears. So this is what I had to end up buying, and it was about $120. All right, so this cutoff switch and ground clamp was about $12. The galvanized electric fence wiring, I got a quarter mile for about $35, and then I got a few of these poles. These poles are about $2 each, and then this big copper grounding rod was about $20. And then I also needed that transformer I showed a picture of, and that was $120. I also ended up needing more poles because you have to support the weight of all the wiring on the poles, so I ended up having to buy a few more poles. And I did this all out here with just a rubber mallet. So we're out here, I got four posts set up. And this ground we got all the way in there, just over a mallet. You can see the water level is really high. But if you have sandy soil, it shouldn't be too hard. If you have like clay soil, uh, good luck. Okay, so I got all the posts in. I had to get a few additional posts. I got everything all wired up, and I got my grounding rod in. So here's the new posts I got. I got a few of these. They were a little cheaper. I think it was like $1.69 each. And here one of our dogs broke the fence here. I zip-tied it, and it's working. And here's the unit I had to buy, actually. This one cost about $120. It's got an on and off switch, which I installed. I just screwed that in. This is all really simple to do. And then on the grounding rod, you put a little clamp. And that gives you your connection from your ground. And then you connect your hot direct from the fence to the unit. And you're good to go. So this was really easy to set up. And you let that charge for three days. The solar panel unit has to charge for three days before you uh, plug it in. But I gave this a, turned it on, I tested it, and it works good. So thanks for watching.